Hello and a very good evening. You're watching the news tonight on Rajya Sabha Television with me, Frank Pereira. Here are the headlines. India and Pakistan to resume talks known as the Comprehensive Bilateral Dialogue. They will include all issues from the Composite Dialogue. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to visit Pakistan in 2016 for the SARC summit 12 years after uh, Vajpayee's trip in 2004. Congress and BJP spar over the National Herald case in Parliament proceedings stalled in the Rajya Sabha. In the Lok Sabha, Congress members accuse government of harassing party chief ministers and leaders. Malik Arjuna Kharge claims false cases being filed against opposition. The BJP hits out at the Congress, says party should answer court summons, dares Rahul Gandhi to prove his charge of selective campaign by the PMO. Well, Foreign Minister Shishma Swaraj and her Pakistani counterpart Sartaj Aziz today addressed a joint press conference after their meeting in Islamabad. Shishma Swaraj said India and Pakistan will restart the comprehensive bilateral dialogue. This will include all issues from what was earlier known as the composite dialogue and later the resumed composite dialogue besides much else. She also informed that the foreign secretaries of both countries will discuss the modalities for this comprehensive bilateral dialogue. दोनों देशों के फॉरेन सेक्रेटरीज को हमने कहा है कि वो बैठ करके शेड्यूल भी इसका तय कर लें और मोडालिटीज भी शेड्यूल यानी कब कब किस किस पिलर की मीटिंग होगी और मोडालिटीज यानी कौन कौन सेक्रेटरी या किस लेवल पर ये डायलॉग होगा आज जो हम लोगों की मुलाकात हुई उसमें हमने ये तय किया कि भारत और पाकिस्तान आपस में समग्र वार्ता करेंगे Foreign Minister Shishma Swaraj today held one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani on the sidelines of the Heart of Asia Summit. Both reviewed bilateral ties including the terror threat in Afghanistan and the status of the reconciliation process. Swaraj is on a two-day visit to Islamabad and will return to India later this evening. Addressing the Heart of Asia Conference in Islamabad, External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj on Wednesday called for collective efforts to restore peace in the war-torn Afghanistan. She said the intensity of militancy had grown manifold in the country in recent times. In the last few months, terrorism in Afghanistan has grown in both intensity and scope. Terrorists have made concerted efforts to capture and hold territory, reminding us that they have not changed. Swaraj also reached out to neighboring Pakistan, stating that it was time the two nations showed maturity and started doing business with each other. Let me take this opportunity to extend our hand to Pakistan as well. It is time that we display the maturity and self-confidence to do business with each other and strengthen regional trade and cooperation. The entire world is watching and rooting for a change. Lauding Afghan forces for countering militancy, Swaraj extended India's support in strengthening its defences. Afghanistan is expecting four attack helicopters from India to fight the growing Taliban insurgency. The assault helicopters will be the first offensive weapon to Afghanistan since India signed a strategic partnership agreement with Kabul in 2011. It is also the collective duty of all of us to ensure that the forces of terrorism and extremism do not find sanctuary and safe heaven in any name, form or manifestation. We in Afghanistan's proximity have a particular responsibility in this regard. The Heart of Asia conference is aimed at shoring up support for war-torn Afghanistan. It comes months after the first inconclusive talks between the Afghan government and the Taliban. Puro Report, Rajya Sabha Television. Well, the Union Cabinet has given its approval to the Real Estate Regulation and Development Bill 2015 as reported by the Select Committee of the Rajya Sabha. CCEA also approved uh, the creation of buffer stock of pulses in the current year itself. In a bid to restore the confidence of consumers in the real estate sector and boost domestic and foreign investment, the Union Cabinet on Wednesday gave its approval to the Real Estate Regulation and Development Bill 2015 as reported by the Select Committee of Rajya Sabha. The Cabinet also approved central legislation to declare 106 additional inland waterways as national waterways. Measures to encourage shipbuilding and repair industry under Make in India initiative 
MOU between India and Indonesia in the field of new and renewable energy cooperation, MOU between India and the United Kingdom in the field of cooperation in the energy sector. In the wake of the recent crisis related to rise in prices of pulses, the CCEA has approved the creation of buffer stock of pulses in the current year itself. Procurement of 50,000 tons will be made from the Kharif crop and 1 lakh ton from the Rabi crop. The CCEA also gave its nod for mandatory use of jute in packaging for the year 2015-16. Vishal Dahiya's report for Rajya Sabha Television. Well, the sparring over the National Herald case between the Congress and the government stalled proceedings of the Rajya Sabha on Wednesday as well. The Congress accused the government of exerting pressure on the Enforcement Directorate to falsely implicate the party's top leadership in the case. The government too launched a counter-offensive against the Congress and challenged it for a discussion. Amid the escalating war of words, the House witnessed several adjournments. When the Enforcement Director has कि ये गलत फैसला हुआ है इनको नोटिस देने का तो इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट ने इस केस को क्लोज करने का निर्णय लिया द नेशनल हेराल्ड केस रॉकड द विंटर सेशन ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट फॉर द सेकंड कंसेक्यूटिव डे इन राज्यसभा द कांग्रेस एलेज्ड दैट द गवर्नमेंट वाज ट्राइंग टू इंटिमिडेट द ऑपोजिशन बाय मिसयूजिंग ऑफिशियल एजेंसीज Leader of opposition Gulam Nabi Azad clarified that his party respected the judicial process but smelt political vendetta in the way the case has unfolded. He even accused the government of ignoring the alleged misdeeds of tainted BJP ministers, demanding immediate action against them. Kya ye sat nahi hai ke isi government ne aap ki government ne August ke mahine mein जिस दिन एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर ने ये कोई केस क्लोज कर दिया और उसके 15 दिन के अंदर अंदर उस एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर को इस सरकार ने हटा दिया और दूसरा एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर लाया। The TMC also lent support to the Congress and accused the government of resorting to open political vendetta. When there is open political vendetta. When there is open political vendetta, not only here, all across the country, sir, what are we left to do? We are left with no other option. So what do we do, sir? This is not the first time it's happening. Defending the government against all charges, MOS Parliamentary Affairs, Mukhtar Abbas Nakhvi blamed the Congress for scuttling the passage of crucial bills. While challenging the Congress for a debate on the allegation of political vendetta, Nakhvi accused the party of holding Parliament to ransom for judicial case pertaining to two individuals. He also raised a point of order asserting subjudice matters cannot be raised in the House. Leader of the opposition ko kehna chahte hai ki yes, hum discussion ke liye tayyar hai, lekin humne kabhi nahi kaha ki hum national heritage ke mutte par discussion karna chahte hai. Humne kaha ki aapne jo hamare upar पॉलिटिकल वेंडेटा का आरोप लगाया है हम तैयार हैं आप जब चाहिए जिस समय चाहिए उस समय हम डिस्कशन करना करने को तैयार हैं लेकिन जो इशू कोर्ट में है आप जाकर के कोर्ट में लड़िए द कांग्रेस एमपीज प्रोटेस्टेड बाय मार्चिंग इनटू द वेल ऑफ द हाउस वर्बल स्पैट्स मार्क्ड येट अनदर डे इन पार्लियामेंट विद बोथ जीरो आवर एंड क्वेश्चन आवर एंड लेजिस्लेटिव बिजनेस गेटिंग वॉश्ड आउट after repeated adjournments when the strife refused to simmer down, the chair adjourned the House till Thursday. Pure report, Rajya Sabha Television. Well, the Congress continued its protest in the Lok Sabha too on Wednesday. Party's leader in the House, Malikarjuna Kharge, accused the Modi government of indulging in politics of vendetta. He said that the BJP government was targeting the Congress leaders and framing them in false cases. The Trinamool Congress supported the Congress and staged a walkout. The government rejected all allegations before saying that the Congress was trying to pressurize the judiciary by stalling Parliament. Congress members raised slogans in Lok Sabha on Wednesday too. Party MPs resorted to sloganeering during the entire duration of question hour. The party has accused the government of working with political vendetta. During zero hour, however, the speaker allowed Congress leader Malik Arjun Kharge to speak. स्टेट्स में कैसे दो अलग-अलग कानून हैं। एक रूलिंग पार्टी के लिए, एक उनके लिए और दूसरा जो गुजरात में विरोधी पक्ष के नेता हैं शंकर सिंह वागेला के घर पे रेड होता है। यहाँ पर सिवराज सिंह घोटाला करते हैं उनके घर पे या उनको आज तक इंक्वायरी नहीं की गई। उसी ढंग से आप हिमाचल प्रदेश पे 
वहां पर शादी हो रही है शादी चल रही है डोली जा रही है उस वक्त सीबीआई का रेड होता है कुछ भी नहीं मिला तो फिर उसके बाद में एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट जाके डिस्प्रोसमेंट के लिए उनको फंसा देती है उनके लिए कानून अलग है फिर उसके बाद राजस्थान में गहलोत के खिलाफ पायलट के खिलाफ इनके खिलाफ केसेस आप दर्ज करते हैं आपके लोग आपके मुख्यमंत्री घोटाला करते हैं तो उनके खिलाफ केस नहीं है कांग्रेस पार्टी आल्सो फाउंड सपोर्ट फ्रॉम तृणमूल कांग्रेस एज द कांग्रेस मेंबर्स शॉटेड स्लोगन्स टीएमसी एमपी स्टूड एट देयर प्लेसेस एज अ शो ऑफ सपोर्ट टीएमसी एमपी सोगाता रॉय स्टार्टेड टू स्पीक इन खरगेस फेवर बट द स्पीकर इंटरप्टेड हिम प्रॉम्प्टिंग पार्टी एमपी टू वॉक आउट यू अलाउ मी आई एम सपोर्टिंग मल्लिकार्जुन खरगेस कंटेंट Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaiya Naidu spoke for the government. He said the Congress party only wanted to disrupt proceedings and influence the courts. He also said that the government had nothing to do with the case. उन्होंने सब कुछ के बारे में बोला इनके पास कोई इनके पास कोई सच नहीं है और जो कोर्ट ने जो आदेश दिया वो कोर्ट का आदेश के पीछे सरकार का कोई रोल नहीं है ये कोर्ट का आदेश है ये लोग कोर्ट का आदेश को पालन नहीं करना चाहते यहाँ से पार, यहाँ पार्लियामेंट के द्वारा पार्लियामेंट के द्वारा जुडिशियरी को धमकी दे रहे पार्लियामेंट के द्वारा जुडिशियरी को ये लोग चेतावनी दे रहे ये लोकतंत्र के हित में नहीं है When Congress MPs protested in the House in the morning, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was present in the House. Sham Sundar's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Meanwhile, allegations and counter allegations in the National Herald case continued in and out of Parliament for the second day in a row. The Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi called the case a 100% political vendetta coming out of the Prime Minister's office. The BJP responded by daring the Congress leader to back his claims with proof. 100%. political vendetta pure political vendetta coming out of the pm office for the second day in a row This congress vice president rahul gandhi targeting prime minister narendra modi with claims of political vendetta he alleged that none other than the prime minister's office were directing the campaign against him and his mother he also rejected the charge that the congress is using parliament to threaten the judiciary who is threatening judiciary we all know i have full faith in the legal system of this country and we will see at the end what comes out the truth will come out other congress leaders also termed it a selective campaign against opposition leaders this yesterday's case before yesterday's case is one of among the series the way they have been treating the uh, mrs gandhi and his family members the way they have been treating the chief minister of himachal pradesh the way they have been treating the family members of chidambaram no action whatsoever against the chief ministers of bharatiya janata party rajnitik mamle mein rajnitik logon ke dabav mein ye kaam ho raha hai isliye hum log keh rahe hain ki ye rajnitik balle ki bhavna hai मगर इससे कांग्रेस की आवाज दबाई नहीं जा सकती है हिटिंग बैक द बीजेपी डेड राहुल गांधी टू सब्सटैंशियट हिस्स क्लेम्स अगेंस्ट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर विद एडक्ट प्रूफ वी वुड आस्क राहुल गांधी इफ ही हैज करेज इनफ इफ ही हैज ऑनेस्टी इनफ इफ ही हैज अ स्टैंडिंग एज अ लीडर ऑफ हिस्स पोलिटिकल पार्टी ही शुड कम डाउन टू पार्लियामेंट एंड गिव द प्रूफ ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट विच ही हैज मेड अगेंस्ट द जुडिशरी the proof of the statement which he has made against the government and the prime minister's office we call him that he should come and give the explanation in the house a delhi court has ordered both sonia and her son rahul gandhi to appear on the 19th of december to answer allegations that they illegally acquired property worth crores belonging to the national herald newspaper bureau report rajya sabha tv Moving on now, fresh showers once again sent residents indoors in Chennai city, where normalcy was slowly limping back. Taking note of the tragedy, the central government has decided to set up over 100 flood forecasting stations in parts of the country. Yes, ma'am. Fresh spells of rain on Wednesday increased the people's problem in Chennai. The Met Office is predicting heavy showers till 11th of December. indicating that the receding water levels could start to rise again civic bodies are also working hard to check any likely epidemic outbreak bachcha lon ke school aane jaane mein bahut pareshani hota hai dukan bhi band ho jata hai kaam bhi nahi chalta hai bahut pani ho gaya room mein school tarandu or maas aise pasangal book illa school unna illa school pogada kashta padudunga 
காய்கறி வலை எல்லாம் ஏறி போய் கிடக்குது ஒன்றும் வாங்கி சமைச்சு சாப்பிட முடியல இருக்கிறதுக்கு இடம் இல்லை தங்கிறதுக்கு வசதி இல்லை யாரும் எதுவும் செய்ய மாட்டேங்கிறாங்க About 280 people have died across the state. Large sections of the city are still submerged in water. DMK Chief M. Karuna Nidhi visited flood-affected areas and met people, while Chief Minister J. J. Lalita renewed her appeal to Prime Minister Narendra Modi to declare it a national calamity. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. Let's get you some more updates from across the country now in Nationwide. The Delhi High Court dismissed as premature any plea filed against the AAP government's proposal to run private vehicles having odd and even numbers on alternate days. The measures which were announced to tackle pollution in the city has triggered a widespread debate and had been challenged in a petition. The elections for almost 59,000 village heads and 7 lakh gram panchayat members in Uttar Pradesh were held today. The final phase of polling for 66 districts will be held on Thursday. The polls are being monitored through CCTV cameras with ballot boxes being kept under double locks. Counting will be held on the 13th of December. A high-level BJP delegation met President Pranam Mukherjee today demanding the dismissal of Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Veer Badra Singh. The delegation reportedly briefed the President about corruption and money laundering allegations against Singh. Underworld Don Daud Ibrahim's uh, seized properties were auctioned in Mumbai today. Seven properties owned by the gangster went under the hammer under the Smugglers and Foreign Exchange Bund uh, Manipulators Act. A journalist turned uh, activist made the highest bid for one of his properties. Four other properties located in Nani agricultural area were uh, auctioned separately. Time for a short break now, but news and updates will continue on the other side. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Get live Rajya Sabha session. News, views, reports and analysis you can trust on social media. Subscribe, follow, like Rajya Sabha Television. Welcome back. You're watching Rajya Sabha Television. Well, the dead toll in the Kandahar airport attack has risen to 37. A group of Taliban militants stopped the airport complex on Tuesday evening triggering an all-night gun battle with security forces. A number of people were held hostage by the militants. All flights to and from Kandahar had to be cancelled. The Afghan government said today that an unknown number of assailants were killed in the gun battle. A number of civilians and soldiers were also killed. The attack comes at a time when Asian leaders are meeting in neighbouring Pakistan to discuss uh, the conflict in Afghanistan. The Taliban have been ramping up attacks on government and foreign targets despite the, honest, or the onset of the harsh winter season when fighting usually winds down. The more international news now. The Time magazine has named German Chancellor Angela Merkel as its Person of the Year 2015. The magazine hailed her leadership for navigating the debt and refugee crisis that threatened to tear the European Union apart. It described her as the de facto leader of the European Union this year who steered the Union through two existential crises, a Greek bankruptcy and the migrant crisis. The biggest gamble of her decade in power was when she opened Germany's doors to asylum seekers. 61-year-old Merkel joins an eclectic list of former winners, including Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Mamta, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, I beg your pardon, Winston Churchill and Richard Nixon. She is also only the fourth woman since 1927 to be named an individual winner outright and the first in 29 years. Well, as negotiators from around 200 countries are busy trying to reach a final climate deal in Paris, Environment Minister Prakash Javadekar hit out at the developed nations, saying that the support offered by them to developing nations has been low. Meanwhile, US President Barack Obama telephoned Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday to discuss the progress made in climate change negotiations. Here's more. Flurry of talks on the sidelines of Paris Climate Summit as representatives from around 200 countries are busy negotiating a deal to limit global warming due to be presented on Friday. On Tuesday, Environment Minister Prakash Javrekar held talks with United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and US Secretary of State John Kerry. 
Kerry, who had earlier said that India could be a challenge at the climate conference, said that he had very positive discussions with India. Later, Javrekar, speaking at a joint press conference of the basic countries, Brazil, South Africa, India and China, asserted that there was no compromise on common but differentiated responsibilities, or CBDR, that separates poor and rich countries for fixing responsibilities and distribution of finance. He also said that developed nations need to do more. Action from developing world depends upon, to a much extent, finance and technology support from developed world. But actually, world was expected to mobilize $100 billion up to 2020, but it has not much made much headway. The talks in Paris have reached a crucial phase in the final week. Developing countries, including India, have been demanding rich countries for early dispersal of funds and clean technology to mitigate the greenhouse gas pollution. Negotiators are confident that some kind of deal will be reached and they will be able to avert a repeat of the 2009 Copenhagen summit that failed. Auront lieu entre mercredi après-midi, mercredi dans la nuit et jeudi. Et j'espère que euh, à ce moment-là, nous aurons suffisamment avancé pour que, après une série d'itérations, the multiple the lines of evidence uh, suggest that the, uh, the Earth is warming very clearly. And uh, for instance, the, uh, the atmospheric uh, concentrations of the uh, CO2 has been rising and the sea level has been rising and the temperature temperature of the ocean was also rising and that there is no hiatus negotiators are trying to reach a deal at the climate change conference to curb global warming a draft deal was reached last week but key issues still remain including a long term goal to reduce emissions from burning coal oil and gas bureau report rajya sabha tv Let's get you a roundup of the other international news now in Global Buzz. A third man who helped unleash the carnage in Paris last month has been identified. 23-year-old Faoud Mohammed Agard was identified as at the end of uh, last week with a DNA test. Russia has unleashed another barrage of airstrikes against Syria with cruise missiles from a submarine in the Mediterranean Sea. The Russian Defense Ministry said it had upped the intensity of its strikes in Syria since Saturday, dropping 1,920 bombs over the past four days. Buses carrying Syrian civilians and armed men left homes today as part of a reconciliation deal between the government and the rebels. The agreement will see them resettled in rebel-held areas in the Hama and Idlib provinces. Cuba and U.S. officials have begun talks about the claims of Americans whose property was nationalized and Cuban counterclaims for damages caused by the U.S. trade embargo. The talks in Havana are the latest in a series of bilateral meetings since the two countries restored diplomatic ties in July. It's time for a short break now. On the other side, sports news. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hottest topics. If you can facilitate the opening up and the expansion of the international border trade, you can add to the economy. 370 Candid confessions. The Congress has not been able to communicate. We have to uh, revive our links with the masses. World class health care is uh, available to only a handful of people in this country. Counting controversies. A lot of leaders today think that they rule by divine right. Now, media has become manageable. Watch RSTV engage personalities to the point. Every Wednesday, 10 p.m., Thursday, 1.30 and 5.30 p.m. Aapka Mutta Aap 
का हाल सरकार तक पहुंचेगा आपका सवाल राज्यसभा टीवी बनेगा आपकी आवाज Welcome back. You're watching Rajya Sabha Television. Well, Pakistan Cricket Board Chairman Shahryar Khan on Wednesday said India will not play a bilateral series with Pakistan. The former world champions were scheduled to play a short series in Sri Lanka later this month. According to news agency PTI, PCB Chief Shahryar Khan said that the hopes of resumption of bilateral cricketing ties between India and Pakistan are dying with too little time left to organize the big ticket event. Shahryar further added that the Islamabad visit of Indian Foreign Minister Shishma Swaraj did not help in re reviving the series, virtually hinting that the proposed series may not take place at all. Let's now get you a roundup of the other sports news in Sports Beat. Indian all-rounder Shikhar Dhawan was reported for suspect bowling action in the Delhi Test against South Africa. Dhawan will have to undergo tests in the next 14 days and can continue to bowl in international cricket till the results of the test are known. Indian ace shuttler Sena Nawal and Kidambi Srikant lost their opening game at the World Super Series Finals in Dubai. Sena suffered a 14-21, 6-21 defeat against Japan's Nozomi Okuhura in the first round robin match. In the men's singles, Kidambi Srikant lost to Japan's Kento Momoto 13-21, 13-21 in straight sets. Manchester United were knocked out from the Champions League after a 2-3 defeat against Wolfsburg on Wednesday. United went ahead through Anthony Marshall's goal before Wolfsburg got two to peg them back. The Red Devils restored parity through a fortitious own goal before Naldo scored a dramatic winner. Cristiano Ronaldo scored four and Karim Benzema got three goals as Real Madrid humbled Marmo 8-0 in the Champions League. Ronaldo also became the first Madrid player to score four goals in a Champions League match. That's it on this newscast. Good night.